my tail I cannot tell. I awoke that morn with sleeping eyes, my ocular allowance, desensitized. My assessments whirred with chaos, and my sinew felt ostracized. For moments I stood in silence. No sound to break my trance gained entrance. I listened more, yet nothing chimed, not bell, nor rat, nor fly's winged cadence. So sighing, I stepped in marching fashion, marveling slight at this new condition. My vision never came fully accrued, but I pressed forward with nightly passion. I roamed the halls in years seemingly, its grandiose still holding divinity, each marble pillar and granite arch, marked by cross and godhead trinity. Nothing new to be seen or heard, but my thoughts still bothered and whirred. This deafening silence seemed quite off, and no other vagrant seemed absurd. No waltzing made her bowing squire, no torch lit, nor guards gilded attire, so peculiar, twas quite bizarre. Reasons for which, I'd yet to acquire. Seeming decades passed with my search, upon every nook, cranny, and perch, yet no other being did I find. Then my sinking heart made a lurch. It was then, upon that hallowed ground, my realization became profound, but I shook it off as untruth, and began again to look around. Each wing and flight of stair, no beautied maiden, fine or fair, no king, nor queen, or harebrained jester, no single soul in better chair. At such time, tears beckoned to be cried, and nothing could make that soon subside. I sat alone, spoke no words at all, for none would hear if I cried. I remembered then what had transpired. A pain in breast had made me tired, and so I laid to obtain some rest, for I thought twas all that was required. Sleep I found, but not in fleshly host. I raised this goblet to grim, I toast, whose hands took mine in that final waltz, and made me roam these halls, a ghost.